Okay, right now I will show you how to create a concrete building, uh, but uh, to do it, I will use the steel one and I will try to change it to the concrete one. So first of all, you should open uh, the model of the steel frame. Of course, you can build it from the scratch as a concrete building. I think it's even maybe more educational and if you want to practice a little bit more, do it. But uh, I will right now show you how to do it uh, with the uh, as a changing from one structure or material from steel to to um, concrete okay first of all uh, we will change the structure type to building design yes and um, yeah uh, what we want to do in the um, uh, concrete we want to use only slabs and columns we don't want to have these beams uh, all over the structure so let's go uh, to the 3d view let's go to the section shapes and either you can just uh, try to catch it and delete it with the finger or you can just go like that and uh, try to catch uh, what is inside. Uh, I am choosing the delete all adjoining bars because then I will create also uh, this uh, on the sides because I catch the node of this bar. So when I delete it, I will delete the adjoining bars. If I would uh, click no delete only the selected bars, this small bar and this and this and this and this will survive. So I clean like that and uh, yeah, also uh, how to quickly delete this for, of course you can try to catch like that and uh, oh man. X, Y view and I will just uh, delete this. Good. I will change now the um, height to six meters, and I will put uh, this six beams and change the view. Right now, I see I have the model how I want to have. It's I have the claddings you remember that it's just claddings they are not structural systems so i would like to have a slab instead of the cladding um, and i want to create it uh, as a, uh, for example 180 or 200 as a concrete um, slab i will choose b25 it's the most popular one the cheapest one also in the market um, yes and uh, here i can choose the panels so this cladings as you can see i can mark with um, on this one no uh, i will go to the top view and just mark it like that and i click apply and right now, uh, as I click close, all these panels are no longer the claddings. They are not only distributing the loads, but they have some stiffness. As I uh, see on the properties on the left, you see the material has appeared. It's B25 and the thickness has also appeared. So uh, yeah, right now it's, you have to remember when you are modeling a concrete structure on the beginning, you are modeling the pure concrete uh, n without any rain reinforcement so uh, it's a little bit tricky because uh, you know that this slab will be much much stronger with the reinforcement in general uh, generality uh, the reinforcement it's working much more than the, the concrete uh, in the slabs and the, in the columns also but um, yeah I, I will show you later something uh, more about that but right now let's uh, focus only on the modeling so let's uh, change uh, uh, the column section 
uh, I will just mark the, all of the columns which I want to change for some concrete and either I go here to the left uh, either I go here to the bar sections but uh, let's try this time uh, properties and I see I have steel I want to change it uh, to the B25 but first I will change the section and um, yeah, but first, if I want to change to some section, I will have to create. So anyway, I have to click section, sorry. Uh, but uh, then I go for the RC beam, uh, reinforcement concrete beam, then uh, B25 could be nice. And I will do, for example, uh, 200 on 200. You have to do exactly in your assignment how it is in the DWG AutoCAD file. So. Yeah, try to not repeat everything what I'm doing here. Try to think. And then uh, when I click uh, apply, I see that uh, my bar, uh, my columns has changed. When I go here, I see I have B25 and uh, cross section 200 on 200. So yeah, the modeling of this uh, concrete uh, structure has uh, been finished right now. I just um, it's good to, to know that we have all of the load cases we had before and I will just run the calculation to see if the model is converging mm. yeah this is just an information but uh, you see that then um, uh, mesh on the slabs has appeared a good sign because it uh, means that it's not cladding anymore it's uh, a a real uh, slab. Let's uh, check uh, the formation. Of course, it's very, really important for you to check the deformations, guys, because uh, this is the first sign that something is not going well, that the deformation is not uh, doing like you think uh, it is. And I think for the self weight, it's behaving exactly like we would like to. For the wind, uh, yeah, it's a little bit scaled, but uh, don't worry, it's just a scaling of the model. If you don't want to have the model in the right scale, go for the uh, diagrams for bars, for example, go for the deformation and uh, go for the exact deformation, deformation in structure scale. And here you say it by default, it's 688. Uh, if I go for one and click apply, you see that uh, nothing has moved because the deformation is uh, 38 millimeters and you barely see this deformation. So if I will uh, multiply it by 10 and click apply, you see that yeah, the deformation has appeared. So don't worry about, uh, if you just uh, on the beginning click uh, very quickly on this uh, shortcut to deformation and your structure will flying away. Maybe it's just the scale factor of deformation. Uh, also, it's very nice to use this normalize button because uh, whenever the deformation is very big, this normalize button will adjust by you the scale to the view. So if I go, for example, very close to the model, and click normalize. You see the deformation is like that, but if I zoom out, then uh, the algorithm will do this deformation bigger because uh, he want to make this uh, deformation visible to me, to the user. Okay, yeah, uh, I will just uh, right now zoom into the model and click normalize and it's okay if you want to check the values go to the parameters labels and you will see uh, one more time you see that the deformation we would like to have with a little bit bigger precision so go for the agile preferences and uh, units and formats other uh, and increase the tolerance the precision and uh, you see it's 37 millimeters okay this is the end of the preprocessing of this model but i really think if you feel not so fluently in the software right now and i think you should you should try to build one more time this model from the scratch and uh, just uh, exercise more okay yeah